How you guys doing? Bob Brown again. Ah, so I was talking to someone on uh, Facebook Messenger today about everyone going crazy over the rules on this Michael uh, Todd Devin Lorette match coming up. And uh, anyway, we just started to talk about rules and people are, you know, there's really a big difference, a big problem that people are failing to realize is one, there's there's no single governing body over the rules, especially when it comes to a super match. I mean, that's just two guys having a match. They can do whatever they want. But you've got the WAF, which I would say is the baseline for all rules. And I've always referred to the WAF as scholastic arm wrestling. It's where the most strict rules should be enforced to keep everyone the safest, you know? In the PAL, the UAL, the WAL, rules are different. PAL are even more strict. I mean, it's crazy in my opinion. The WAL and the UAL, things got loosened up because they were trying to appeal to a television audience. And let's face it, no one wants to see a match end on fouls, right? And in super matches, of course, it's two guys, you know? If these two guys want to agree on, elbows can come up 12 inches or go five inches off the side of the pad before we call a foul, well then what's the, pr they're funding their own match, it's their money, they can do whatever they want, you know? Um, and and it's, it's interesting that everyone seems to not understand this. You know, in the NFL, you've got professional rules and everyone knows that they're different than collegiate rules and everyone knows that they're different with high school rules and then peewee football rules there's all different rules for these different levels of competitor. And everyone seems to understand that and there doesn't seem to be a problem. But in arm wrestling, in the YouTube world, everyone thinks that arm wrestling is this big professional sport and it has a governing body and they think it's way more controlled than it, than it really is, you know? Um, Again, with the WAF, they're the ones that have been around probably the longest, they're the, the most organized, um, and they have a, a strict set of rules. And, you know, for example, the elbow cannot come up off the pad, you know, at all, basically. And everyone just said, well, what about this? And what about that? And what about you? Yeah, okay, let's forget about that for a second. Basically, the elbow's gotta stay on the pad, okay? Well, in the PAL, I'm telling you, if, if there's even a whisper of light under that elbow that after the match they reviewed in slow motion five times you don't get called the winner until they've reviewed it a hundred times and in my opinion a lot of their matches end on fouls and it's not necessarily pleasing to the audience to watch so here comes the WAL and the UAL and they're like yeah we need to make this pleasing to the audience I mean we're trying to get this on ESPN let's have the general population be able to see this. So these little meaningless elbow fouls, let's just let them slide, you know, or let's create a new pad, or let's try different systems. Let's do running fouls, and all to create more excitement, okay? And it's all still a learning curve. There is no one hard line set of rules for all professional arm wrestling. And, and I use the word professional arm wrestling very, very loosely because a professional arm wrestler is an arm wrestler that's being paid just to simply show up and compete. Doesn't matter whether they win or lose. And let's face it, there's not very many of those. Um, so with this Michael Todd and Devin Lorette match, they negotiated their own set of rules. They basically started from the WAL rules because that's where they've been arm wrestling lately. And they made some, uh, you know, adjustments. Uh, the running foul system, honestly, it's been around forever. Okay, the USAA with Leonard and Denise Harkless, they used to use a running foul system 20, 30 years ago, and they changed to the WAF system because they were under the WAF. They used to be the qualifying tournament to the WAF, um, and so things like th the rules keep getting changed all the time. So don't stress on, oh, this is the rule, that's the rule. You always have to know what are the rules 
for that tournament in that organization on that day, which I get is ridiculous, but it's the world that we live in. So hope everybody enjoys the match. I'm sure you'll all be bitching about the rules afterwards because some wild stuff is probably going to happen. But uh, you guys have a great night.